Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the head chef lecturer here at Rick Stein's Cookery School in Padstow. And today I'm going to show you how to prepare a whole flatfish for grilling. Right, so we've got a lemon sole here. Um, and what we're going to do is, what we're going to do is what we call a hard trim. Um, I'm going to show you the difference between a um, sort of normal trim and a hard trim. And although the hard trim looks really brutal, it eats so much better because you don't have loads of little bones. Okay, so uh, we've got a flatfish here, um, which is lemon salt, and we've got these frills that go down either side. Um, and so what I'm going to do is going to first off just trim them up as I would for a soft trim. Okay, so always go from the tail to the head because they stand up. If you try and cut them from the head to the tail, they all sit down and they don't, don't trim as well. So, good pair of kitchen scissors. I'm just gonna cut, and I'd actually like to hold the fish up like that so it sits nicely. I'm just gonna cut along that first line where the frills meet the fish. Like so. Then turn it over and do the same on the other side. Again, working from the tail and going up. And then we want to take the tail off as well. And you can take that little fin off there, little dorsal fin. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Actually, I don't want to keep that there. So I'm going to show you how this goes. So that is what we call a not sort of standard trim, really. Okay. Um, but to, you get loads of little sort of floating bones down here. And so if you cook, grill that like that now, what's going to happen is when you take your fillet off, all these little bones here that are sort of floating will come off and it's really sort of unpleasant to eat. So I'm going to go to the next stage and you can feel a little ridge down here, you can feel a ridge down here and that's where I'm going to cut. Okay, so have a look and then just cut up that line. Like so, and the same on the other side. And there we have it, okay? So if I just show you what I've done, what I've taken off, and I know it does look like you've taken a lot of fish off here, but here, this bit here, there's not a lot of flesh there and there's a lot of bones. So to be honest, you'd lose more fish if you cooked it the other way by trying to get rid of all those bones after the fact. Um, what we also like to do is just to what we do a little leaf pattern on the fish. So you can cut down the center of the fish like so, just score it, and then just score it a couple times at an angle either side. So like a little leaf pattern, like that. And then if you put a compound butter on there or something when you're grilling it, it just sort of allows it to go in. You can see that pattern there makes it eat better. Okay, so pop that on a tray, season it, bit of oil, under the grill, perfect.